Let me start by saying that this is a paid promotion, but this is an absolutely great product, so I'm happy to promote it. Now, I've watched some videos about this, and the, there seems to be some confusion on how to pronounce the name. I thought that it was Light Me, L-Y-T-M-I, but I watched several videos, and they're all calling it Lit Me. So, I went to, to my original email where the manufacturer of the product actually includes the pronunciation as Light Me. So these are the Light Me Cozy Clip uh, headphones, or what do they call it? Over ear headphones. They don't go into your ear, they rest outside of your ear. Now, let me give another disclaimer. I absolutely hate earbuds. I don't want anything sticking in my ear. I can't stand it, it drives me insane. You know, people try to talk to you, you can't hear them. You got music blaring in your ear and, and you know, they cancel out the, uh, any uh, talking or anything outside of that. Well, I don't want that. I like to have some music going on. But another disclaimer, YouTube copyright strikes me every time I try to put some music on my videos, I get a copyright strike. So that's why you, you hardly ever hear any kind of music or anything in my videos. And I don't have radio playing in the shop because YouTube's gonna copyright strike me because a radio's playing in the corner. So I don't, I don't listen to music, but I'd like to listen to music. And lo and behold, the good Lord had uh, light me, send me these things, which I absolutely love. And now I'll open it up and tell you about them some more. It comes in a nice solid box. The box is a, a slide over top. So I'm gonna hang on to this, it's a good box. Here's the little pod that has the, the two ear, over ear phones. I'm not sure what to call them exactly. Over ear phones, they charge in this box. There's some little contacts down in the bottom and there's some little contacts on the main body of the, the earphone. So when you put them in there, they're charging. When you open the box, they come on. So uh, one of the things I like the most, being a non-tech person, I don't like dealing with tech things too much, is I turn the Bluetooth off on my iPhone, then I open these up, which activates the earphones, then I turn the Bluetooth on on my iPhone, and then light me showed up in the in the list and I clicked on it and that was it. It was all hooked up, ready to go. Put it on my ear, played some YouTube, the volume's coming right through. So I like that very much that there's not a lot of uh, stuff you have to do to get them to work. I, I hate it when you buy a tech product and you have to go through all kinds of hoops to get the thing to work. It makes me want to take the thing and throw it in the drawer and never pick it up again but not the case here. These work very easy. So in the box down in the bottom, we have a, another little box and inside of it is a instruction manual and a USB-C power cord. So this uh, charges through USB-C and I'll show you that. Somewhere on here is the port, right there, is the port for USB-C to plug into, right there. And you have a, a blinking light, I believe it's green, comes on when you plug it in. If it's blinking, it's charging. If it's solid, it's charged, simple as that. So, in the instructions, the most important thing there, as I've told you, it's really easy to pair them. The part that the, I consider most important about this is, let me get to it here, I don't see good. You have a product overview, how to put them on your ear, uh, powering on, pairing, powering off, to power off, return the earbuds 
to the charging case and close the case. The earbuds will automatically power off after five minutes if they are not connected. So that's good. Your battery won't run dead when you're not using it. Low battery indicator tone. There'll be a, a tone in your ear when the battery runs low, but that's another thing. These are uh, rated to run for eight hours. So uh, I'm old, I'm not gonna work for eight hours. So I don't need to worry about them lasting eight hours. I'll be charging them before they go dead. Now the touch controls, that's the, that's the thing I was gonna say is our most important thing. The touch area is, let me get to that. The touch area is on the outside of the deal and you just touch it. It's like a, what you call it, haptic sensor or something. I, I don't know, like I say, another tech thing, but you just touch it and it does things. And now I'll read to you the things that it does because I can't remember them right away, but I will be memorizing them because I want to actually be using these things. You know, I'll enjoy being able to listen to music while I'm working and still be able to hear my, you know, fellow uh, shop guys talking to me. If they talk to me, I'll hear them and I can, I can mute the thing and talk to them and turn it back on. So power on is touch and hold for two seconds. Although when you take them out of the case and they're already on. They're on when you take them out of the case. And then you put them back, back in case they turn off, but you can also power off by holding it for uh, five seconds and it turns it off. So answer and end the call. I've already tested this. My, I was watching YouTube and had Mrs. Billy call me and I, uh, what did I do? I double tap, 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 answered right up. She could hear me perfectly, you know, even though there's no microphone down here from my, my mouth. These things, I don't know, maybe they're connected directly to my brain or whatever, but she could hear me perfectly. So reject a call, touch and hold for two seconds. So if you don't want to take a call right now, hold the, uh, you know, just touch it and hold it for two seconds and it'll, it'll hang up. Play pause if you have your music playing and your your sidekick says something to you that you want to hear what he's saying or want to hear what he's saying better, double tap it, it'll pause and double tap it again, it'll play. Activate voice assistant, touch and hold for two seconds. So if I hold it for two seconds, uh, uh, in my case, maybe it activates Siri on my iPhone. I'm not sure, I, have, I haven't tested that yet, but we'll find out. And on your left, headphone and the headphones are marked right and left so you'll have your left in your left ear on your left one if you want if you're listening to a playlist and you want to go back then you triple tap the left one one two three and it goes back on your playlist and if you want to go forward you triple tap on your right to go forward to the next track so that's the the controls there I don't think there is a volume up and volume down on the unit itself. I see nothing about raising or lowering volume on these, but when I rose and lowered the volume on my iPhone at the top of the spectrum, it was plenty loud enough for me. I, you know, I don't want blaring music in my ear. That's not good for for the, the device itself, and it's not good for your ear. So you raise and lower your volume on your device that it's connected to, and the earphone itself has plenty of volume to, for you to enjoy your music. If you're making a, a whole lot of noise, then, you know, and you're worried about your, your music, you know, whatever you're doing that's making a whole lot of noise, you need to pay attention to that and not worry about your music. So. It, it'll be perfect music for me, and you know, if I'm hammering on some metal or something where I can't hear the music, well, that's no biggie. I'll be able to hear the music when the hammering stops. And if I wanted to hear that song again, I, I'll triple tap on my left ear. So that's how you do that. Okay, now 
let's uh, test it out in some real world situations. And I have to make a, an edit here. The run time for playing music is six hours, not eight hours, which that's about the correct time for me is about six hours. So if you're gonna be uh, an all day thing, you might wanna break for lunch or something to put them back in the case to charge them back up. And the charge time was, uh, what it say, charging, charging time is 1.5 hours for the earbuds. So if you had used them, like say to lunchtime, and then you put them back in the, in the case, they're gonna make it through your, your all day of work. Let's see, is there anything else? Uh, the blue, Bluetooth range is 10 meters, 33 feet. We're, we'll test that here pretty soon. Uh, waterproof rating IPX4, which means that you can sweat all over them and stuff like that. And well, you're not deep sea diving or anything, they should be okay. But everything you need to know is in this uh, instruction sheet. And uh, I'm pretty sure if you go to the website, you could find out some more if you really need to know a whole lot. I don't know what else you need to know, but there's 12 month warranty, limited warranty, support, lifetime technical support, email support at their email address, lightme.co official website www.lightme.co support phone number youtube like me instagram like me official facebook at like me tiktok at like me so you can find out you know stuff that users have done with them or something like that to, to maybe give you ideas so that's all you need to know about that and now we'll do some actual uh, in the field testing. Here's what the earphones look like in the ear, or on, on the ear, I should say. They're not in my ear. They're resting over the, the hole of my ear. This little arm is just sitting there at the, the precipice going into the ear. It's not actually in my ear canal. And I, I like that because I couldn't stand it if it was. And they're extremely light. You know, I'm not gonna get into to ounces or, or metric tons or anything like that. It's, they're just really light. I, I don't feel them at all. If I concentrate on them, then yeah, there's something there on my ear, but it's not pulling on my ear. It's not uh, pinching my ear. And I can't imagine it being irritating because I had to think about it to, to realize it was actually there. So now I'll do some things with them in my ear so that you can see the, the kind of, uh, uh, I won't call it abuse, although some of the stuff I do is abusive to my body. I don't think it's gonna be abuse to these earphones. I think they're gonna do just fine because, you know, I can shake my head like a crazy person and you know, they don't even move. I, I don't feel any difference from them just being where they're at. So they're not shaking around because they have very little weight to make them want to fly off or anything like that. So, you know, I could jog and stuff like that. I do a lot of hammering and hammering has a lot of movement and shaking involved. So let's test the, the earphones out for that. Hammer tough. I can even train for Olympic break dancing. There you have it. The only earphones, earbuds, etc., ever endorsed by Bondo Billy. And probably the last also, because I'm perfectly happy with them. And uh, provided they can hold up to the dust and stuff that I'm accustomed to, I think I'll be happy with them for a, for a time to come. So I recommend these and I think you'll be happy with them too. The link is in the description. And I didn't mention earlier, but these are extremely low priced for the technology and the, and the quality of them seems to be great. So I think they're, they're right around $40. So 
you know, that's pretty cheap for some really high quality, high tech stuff. So anyhow, get you a pair and I think you'll be happy.